Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this Spotfire tutorial brought to you by DataFuel. My name is Kyle Amata and today I'll be talking about standard deviation. I'll go over several examples of standard deviation within TIPCO Spotfire. The topic for this video was actually submitted by a blog reader and the what do you want to learn about form in the sidebar of the blog. If you have a question, you can submit it through this form and then I'll get an email with your idea, which I can then answer and share through a blog post. Now let's move on to some examples of how to use standard deviation in Spotfire. In this data set, I've got about 930 production values and each one is assigned to a different group for a total of five groups. We can take the standard deviation of each individual group using a calculated column. Just like in Excel, standard deviation is a built-in function in Spotfire and it's listed in the statistical function group. So I'll scroll down, find standard deviation and insert this into my expression, and then I'll select the IP rate, which is the production rate, into this function. And I want to do this for every group within the field column, so we end up with five unique values of standard deviation. And finally, I'll give this column a name of standard deviation per field, and then click OK to insert that column. So now I can scroll through this table and see that for each individual field, A, B, C, D, and E, We've got different values of standard deviation. The next example we'll look at is standard deviations with histograms. So as I showed earlier in the PowerPoint, we can represent bar charts as histograms to examine a distribution. Then we can add lines for the standard deviations to see where the data is distributed relative to the mean and X number of standard deviations away from the mean. So in the example on the screen, I've got a data set that's got an average of about 1600 and I've plotted vertical lines representing one, two, and three standard deviations away from this average. To create this chart, I'll insert a new bar chart, change the category axis to our IP rate, and then I'll auto bin this column and increase the number of bins to about 30. Now this data set has been filtered down within Spotfire, so I need to set the category axis to the current filtering only. That way it doesn't try to create category axis scale that's bigger than the current filter data set. I'll also go back and I'll change the minimum value on the, the category axis to 1000 just so that we're on the same scale as the chart below. And now I'll add these lines and curves and Spotfire has got a built-in feature that'll let us add the average plus and minus one standard deviation with one click. And I'm going to add labels for the curve name as well as the values so that we can see the average values and the standard deviation values on the screen for each one of these lines. Next, I'll give these lines more friendly names such as average minus one standard deviation and average plus one standard deviation. Next, I'm going to add the other two standard deviations. So I'll add vertical lines and I'll select straight line with a custom expression. So the way that we're going to calculate this is to first take the average and then add that with the standard deviation, making sure to multiply the standard deviation by two. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. The fastest way to do this is just use the recent expression, change the plus to a minus, and then click OK. So now we've got lines representing two standard deviations from the mean. To add lines for three standard deviations away from the mean, we just follow the same steps, changing the two to a three. The next example we'll look at is representing the standard deviation with colors on a scatter plot. Standard deviation can also be an indicator of performance. For example, if a data point is several standard deviations away from the mean, this might indicate that there's either bad data, a production defect, 
or some extraordinary performance condition. Either way, you'll probably want to know about it. We can use color in Spotfire to make these data points stand out so that we can help flag problems. For the sake of time, I don't want to go into how to actually build this chart out, but for this example, I just want to point out that anything outside of two standard deviations will turn red. Now let's say you're doing a six sigma analysis. Well, you could easily change this to flag values that were six standard deviations or sigmas away from the mean. Another common use for standard deviations is with box plots. Box plots are a compact way to display the distribution of a data set. Box plots can be an alternative to histograms and they're showed with boxes, lines, or sometimes called whiskers, and points. The end of the lower box represents the 25th percentile, and the upper end represents the 75th percentile. These two boxes are divided at the median. Now the lines on top and below the boxes show the extents of the upper and lower values, which in Spotfire, the lines represent roughly two and a half standard deviations away from the mean. And as I mentioned earlier, any point that's about two to two and a half standard deviations away from the mean is considered an outlier. So anything outside of the lines are shown as dots, which represent outliers. Setting up the box plot is fairly simple. I'll insert a new box plot, and it's gonna choose a category for the x-axis and some value axis for the y-axis. So because our data set is relatively simple, it automatically chooses these correctly for us. But if you wanted to reconfigure it, we could select different values from the drop downs for the category axis as well as for the y value axis. There's not too many options to configure on the box plots, but one thing we can add is reference points to show the average value or any of these other statistical measures such as the P10 and the P90. I'm just going to color these red, the P90 and P10 values to make them stand out. The final thing we'll do is adjust the data points shown in the statistics table, which is the summary table that's shown at the bottom of the box plots. I'll add the average value, and I'll also add a value for the standard deviation, which if we compare this to our calculated column, we should see the same values. Box plots can take a little while to get comfortable with, but I like to think of them as histograms that have been rotated on their side. And Spotfire makes it really easy to visualize this. So I've got the same box plot from just a second ago on the left, and then on the right, I've got the same set of data shown as histograms using horizontal bars and then trellising based on the field name, which is our five groups. I've also plotted the average line for each trellis panel on the right. The leftmost box plot is gonna be field A, along with the leftmost histogram. So we can see that the most, the highest frequency of data points is right in the middle near the average. And then as we get further away from the average, the number or the count of data points starts to decrease. So we can examine each one of these box plots as a histogram. But the nice thing about the box plots is that they're a little bit more compact and take up quite a bit less room. But Spotfire does have a nice feature that allows you to quickly view this distribution within the box plot. To do that, we'll open up the box plot properties, go to appearance, and then check the box where it says show distribution. The next example I'll show is called a summary table. And the summary table makes it really quick and easy to show statistical calculations of your data set. So among other things like average, min, and max, this summary table is also calculating the standard deviation for each field. To configure this visualization, I'll insert a new summary table, go to the properties to select the columns from our data table that we want displayed in here, and I'll get rid of these, I'll get rid of everything except for IP rate. And I want to break these calculations down into their individual fields, so I'll select field from the categorization. Next, I'll go to the statistical measures tab and choose the different calculations that we want displayed in this table. The standard deviation is going to show up by default, but I'll go ahead and also add in the P10 and P90 so that we show the same values in the summary table as we did in the box plot. And finally, I'll just adjust the font size so that the text is a little bit bigger. So the last example I'll show today is how to insert a bend column. Now we used the auto bend feature of the histograms 
but we can also use a bend column to specify which intervals to group our data into. And one of the options is to bend by standard deviation so that you can group your data into different number of standard deviations away from the mean. So this is what we were doing when we drew the lines on the histogram, but the bend column will do it for you with just a couple of clicks. To do that, I'll insert a bend column and then select the radio button next to standard deviations. And you can decide here how many standard deviations you want included. And I'll just go ahead and leave them all checked. Okay, I'll insert that column. And we could use this calculated column to do a number of different things, but I'm going to go back to our first histogram. This time, I'm not filtering down to just one field. We're showing all five fields. And I use the bend column on our color by axis, which makes it really easy to see that anything within one standard deviation is red. Anything that's less than one standard deviation is green. Anything that's greater than one but less than two standard deviations is going to be yellow, and anything beyond that is going to be purple. I hope this was a helpful overview of standard deviation within Spotfire. If you can think of any common use cases of standard deviation that you've used before, please share them in the comments below because I'd love to hear your ideas. And just a reminder, if you want to download the Excel and Spotfire files shown in this video, visit my blog that features this video, which is linked in the notes below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.